Hey, it's Chris here. Uh, happy day after the Iowa caucuses. And I want to just tell everyone something. Stop trying to lessen what happened in Iowa for Donald Trump on Monday night. So I've seen all this coverage uh, about how Trump almost didn't win 50% of the vote. Uh, the turnout was low. Lots of people chose someone other than Donald Trump. Dude, he won 51% of the vote in a six-way primary where he campaigned the least in the state of the major candidates, spent the least on TV uh, of the major candidates, and still won by 30 points. The largest margin of victory prior to this one was Bob Dole in 1988, and he won by 12 points. So Trump almost tripled, but well more than doubled the record victory ever before in the Iowa caucuses by a Republican. Uh, here's the other thing. Just to answer the, well, he only got 51% of the vote. 49% voted for other people. Okay. 21% voted for Ron DeSantis. Another 8% voted for Vivek Ramaswamy. So add that up and you get about 30%. So add 50 and 30 and you get 80. And why I add that up is because the DeSantis voters, those aren't Nikki Haley voters. Those are Donald Trump voters in the end. They might like DeSantis better. They may not love Trump, but ideologically, they're much more aligned with Trump than they are with anyone else in the race. The Vivek Ramaswamy voters, all 8% of them, those are Donald Trump voters too. Ramaswamy ran an entire campaign based on the idea that he was the guy who would defend Trump more than anyone else. So the idea that Trump only got 51%, first of all, I think it's pretty remarkable he got 51%. But second of all, there's another 30% of votes in Iowa that suggest they would have been for Trump if DeSantis and Ramaswamy hadn't been in the field, which, FYI, they will not be in the general election. Look, I get it. I know people are looking for cracks in Trump's foundation electorally. I know people, and I agree, think he is a danger to American democracy if he is elected president again. But I think you must give him his due in this regard. He won Iowa bigger than any Republican non-incumbent president has ever done before by a ton. It was a really impressive victory particularly given the time and resources or lack of time and resources he spent in the state. Yes, we expected it, but that doesn't make it any less impressive. In fact, in some ways it makes it more impressive. He was able to deliver despite the fact that he had a 30 point lead throughout the entire race. He didn't ever lose that lead. So give the man his due this day. Don't suggest, because I think it's whistling past the political graveyard, that this somehow was a less impressive win than it looked. This was a big win for Trump. It helps him solidify the nomination. Full stop.